Good morning. Wanted to welcome everyone to another Bloom Legal uh, video blog. Uh, we're yeah. excited to do it today. I want to talk about uh, traffic accidents and what to do. I'll let uh, David introduce himself. Absolutely. Hey, everybody. David Grimion back again for another another episode with us. So uh, today we're talking about you know traffic accidents and what you need to do if you're involved with an accident. And I guess you know the first thing that comes up is insurance issues. Yeah. And you know what, from the basic start of this all is you need insurance. You are required if you are driving around to carry a minimum amount of insurance. So the by Louisiana thing, law, you have by, to have it. By Louisiana law, and if you get in an accident, you're not allowed to make a claim uh, if, in fact, you have uh, been in an accident. Yeah, you can be precluded from a potential amount of, of money or claim that you can file if you don't have insurance, and the other person does. It's a very expensive traffic ticket. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really an irresponsible thing to do. It's Absolutely. for the safety of you and for really everyone. On the road so what does it mean to buy a traffic policy um, you know I think some people should learn there's a comprehensive there's uninsured motorist there's sure. collision there's property and most people don't understand this I know during Katrina I had to really analyze a lot of insurances for properties but what does it mean you know no one knows if I asked you what your limits are if you have med pay what your yep. coverage is so it's really important that you cover yourself for liability so that if it's your fault in an accident you have adequate amount to protect your estate, your family, so that medical uh, bills, things medical like bills, that. you can cover it for the other side. Have and it, sometimes for yourself. And and if you live in New Orleans or Louisiana, you know we have high insurance rates, and part of that is due to a lot of uninsured drivers out there. And so it's always very important to have uninsured motorist coverage. Good uninsured motorist coverage is probably the most important thing because if one of these irresponsible people hits you and they don't have insurance, you basically are done. Yeah. But for instance, if you get hurt in an accident or someone hits you and they don't have insurance or they don't have enough insurance, let's say they have a minimum policy and you're only entitled to $15,000 but you have a broken neck. Well, hopefully your uninsured motorist was for 100,000 or 250,000 yeah. or a half, but it can get more sophisticated with insurance. Sure. If you have assets, you can put an umbrella policy on that, but that, uninsured motorist basically turns into the other person's insurance. So now your own insurance company will pay you from that uninsured motorist pool and your rates cannot go up. By law, yeah. you're allowed and entitled to carry UM and use your UM without your rates going up. Sure, and and that's always important. So if you do not have an UM insurance or if you're uncertain, you should definitely contact your insurance company and see if that's something that you do have. Because a lot of people will sign up for car insurance and they don't necessarily know what they're getting. They're just yeah, people kind of trusting the agent or doing it online. And you need to challenge the agent and say, look, if you have two children and a big house, um, and you need to tell them what your asset situation is. Or if you're a broke college student, you need to explain your asset situation, your li where your liabilities are, and make yeah. sure that you have the proper coverage. It's so important. So when you get in an accident, uh, you can report it to your insurance company. Yep. You File can get a claim. claim number. I would say don't give a statement until you hire a lawyer. Certainly none of this matters if you're injured. If you're injured, focus on calling the ambulance, yep. asking for help. Don't see get out a of the doctor as soon as possible. See a doctor, don't get out of the car, and then let a t an attorney help navigate uh, your insurance issues. Sure. When you have insurance, it's enforced. So there's no deadline to file a claim uh, past a year. But, but but it's not urgent in the first week or two. Sure. Certainly if you're contacted by the other person's insurance company, you don't want to give any sort of statements and you really want to use a personal injury lawyer that's familiar with automobile accidents Absolutely. and have him or her help you. So it's really important to understand that and sometimes in insurance agents, you know, people just walk into these places and they yeah. sign up and they're like, oh, I've got full coverage. That's sure. what I was here full coverage, but your full coverage doesn't mean you have the right coverage exactly. or good coverage. And a lot of people in New Orleans, we deal with traffic tickets here, a lot of people drive without proper insurance. A lot, a lot of people. And most people drive with not enough insurance. Sure. So really check with your agent, make sure you have enough liability coverage, comprehensive property damages. There's something called med pay. Yeah. It's usually an extra buck or two a month. That means if you're ever injured, there's automatically a five or $10,000 policy that can just start paying for sort of emergency medical treatment. So it's fairly complicated. Most, yeah. most people, you know, most doctors and lawyers 
and business sure. people and teachers they don't understand this either no um, it can be confusing especially if it's not explained to you or if you're just doing a quote online and and just clicking what looks the cheapest or the best uh, in your opinion maybe it's not what you need as Seth was explaining so and sometimes um, the you know the difference between um, getting the next level of co coverage is literally a very few minimal. dollars a year yeah um, you know uh, uninsured motorist is typically the most expensive thing but I would not walk out of uh, an insurance agency yeah. without that definitely need that here in New Orleans and Louisiana so, so look this has been great we wanted to talk to you today a little about you know how insurance works how it works in a, and how to make a claim how to handle it in a traffic accident and if you ever have any questions about uh, insurance I always tell my clients so I'd be happy to look over your declaration page yeah. where that shows what your limits are and what your policy is so have a great day have any issues give us a call thanks everybody David Grimion and Seth Bloom at Bloom Legal bloomlegal.com or 504-599-9997